more companies return to the office, it turns out that employees are more and more in the driver's seat, dictating whether they're going to work remotely or the way they used to. Yeah, it is a big topic of conversation at Crown Force Dan Kerman, live in San Francisco tonight with more on this. Boy, Dan, it feels like anywhere you go, you know, socially, it is one of the, the big things, you know, cocktail parties that, that people want to talk about. Absolutely. And, you know, more and more we're finding survey after survey that people who have been working remotely want to continue working remotely. There is a big chunk of that workforce who either wants a hybrid model where they're both in the office and at home or just staying totally at home. And the experts we talk to say that is putting the job seekers in the driver's seat. As more and more companies announce a full or partial return to the office, a new Randstad study finds less than robust enthusiasm for the idea. A little more than half of the applicants that we are working with are looking for remote, fully remote, or at least a flexible working model uh, versus returning to a physical work location. And morning consults tracking the return to normal survey finds the percentage of those who feel comfortable returning to the office hasn't increased much over the last few months. It doesn't seem to be as connected to the safety aspect as maybe it does to, you know, this is the share of people who are going to feel comfortable going back to work um, for the foreseeable future, maybe not necessarily because they think it's unsafe, but maybe they think it's unnecessary or they've just found that they prefer working, working from home. Companies are going to need to be flexible. Peter Leroy Munoz with the Silicon Valley Leadership Group says companies in Silicon Valley and elsewhere will have to adapt to this new normal. This really does become a productivity concern for employees, also a quality of life issue for employees. And certainly with the rebounding economy and a much more mobile workforce, employees have greater power now than they used to over these kind of issues in discussions with their employers. In fact, both of the surveys we were talking about indicates there's a more willingness to give up your job and move on to the next one if you are forced to go back to the office full time. Live in San Francisco, Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News.